Hello and welcome to another episode of What's Inside. This episode we're talking about Hero Card Champion of New Olympia, designed by Raylong. This is a table star game, it uses the hero card system. Uh, this one is for two players, it takes about an hour, ages 10 and up. So let's open this up and see what we got inside. Now this one you're uh, trying to uh, uh, be the new hero, obviously. So the Table Star games were, I don't know, I didn't see them as being too popular, but they have sort of a following. It's sort of an early deck builder type game, uh, where you just have uh, a deck of cards, but it's more of a static thing. I don't know how much sense I'm making. All right, box quality is pretty good. Here's your rule book. This one's fairly thick, but it's uh, got a lot of information in it. Core rules, basic stuff. So the art's okay. Uh, I think they could have probably done a little better. So yeah, pretty straightforward. Here we have our tokens. There's uh, four rows of four. Four for each character. And this one's a little different than the previous one that we looked at, which was Galaxy. Uh, this one uses tiles. So on the back, they've just got the logo for the game. And they're fairly mobile, as I recall. You can move these around. So there's nine of these tiles. Then you've got your little token, or your little guys. There's a red one of a kind of muscular looking guy. And then there's a green one for the other player, which is uh, some lady in a, a little whirlwind of water. These are a little slimy gross because it's kind of a cheap plastic. Uh, but the box has molded interior for them to sit, which is kind of nice. And there's a whole bunch of cards here. So we've got three big stacks of cards. So the, like I said, the box has molding, so a uh, molded piece of plastic. Pretty standard fare, fairly cheaply made. Don't pull it out if you don't have to. Um, so the characters will fit in here. And you can usually find these games pretty cheap. Um, they were never very expensive. Uh, how much did they retail for? I don't remember, but usually you can find them for about six or eight bucks now. I don't think any of them are more than ten. I'd be kind of surprised if they were. So, yeah. So the tiles are, are pretty well made. They're, they're not as thick as most modern games. This one's a couple years old now. So be aware of that. That um, They're not too bad. Uh, this was 2006 before the games got thicker board, but not awful, not great. All right, there's Tower King, Massively Muscled, and Diva Telekinesis. Then you've got your Robot Rampage card. This is your deck, per se. So let's get these uh, other pieces out of the way. First, let's look at the... Um, yeah, that's, I'm going to have to open this. I'm going to use some scissors. Don't use the scissors unless you get permission from a responsible adult. Or you are a responsible adult. Which, you know... That's subjective, I guess. Alright, so... There's... Looked like there were two sheets of this, but it's really just one poorly made sheet. So, on the back is uh, different icons. So I thought it was two sheets, but it's really just one poorly designed one. My apologies. That was a waste of everyone's time. All right, let's open up these cards and see what we got here. All 
All right. So we have a spirit wave for four. Another spirit wave. We've got a spirit win. Seven. Crushing grasp plus three. Ancestral strike of plus four. Overpower four. Ancestral guardian seven. Ancestral strength. Ignore first base block in the current attack sequence. Ancestral Blessing. Anc Ancestral Aegis. Ancestral Aegis. Think fast. Think fast. Hip toss. Follow through. Follow through. Third follow through. Super Leap. Another Super Leap. Another Super Leap. Another super leap. Punishing blow. A second punishing blow. Opportunity knocks. Opportunity knocks. Opportunity knocks again. There's a jab. There's another jab. Another jab. An uppercut. And then we have Tao King Sabertooth Talisman. And then Ancestors Teaching. And then Massively Muscled. So that's his deck. Um, yeah, I don't know. The characters look kind of un uninspiring and kind of generic to me. But, you know, I, I paid, I think, $5 for this, so I can't complain too much. Like I said, you can find these pretty cheap online still. Um, they... They didn't seem to be as popular as they probably could have been, but I think the idea was good, but the uh, follow-through may not have been the best. Like, it was a little... It came off as a little lazy on some of them. This one's probably better than Galaxy, in my opinion, but... Um, it depends. It depends what kind of games you like to play. Alright, here's the other deck. We've got Ancestral Assault, Ancestral Assault, Astral Distract, oh, Astral Assault, my bad, Astral Distraction, Astral Defense, Astral Focus, Astral Focus, Astral Shield, Astral Shield, Astral Bash, Sounds like a party. Astral Bash. Astral Bash. Astral Blitz. Astral Slash. Astral Slash. Telepathic Discord. Telepathic Control. Psychic Storm. Psychic Storm. Psychic Focus. Psychic Focus, Precognition, Illusion, Illusion, a Third Eye, another Third Eye, a Third Third Eye, Kinetic Barrier, Kinetic Barrier, Kinetic Bash, Kinetic Bash, and then Ancestral Construct, Psychic Powers, and Telekinesis. So she's the yellow deck, he's the red deck. Pretty straightforward. Let's look at our other cards here. Ah, that one's a lot easier to open. Alright, this deck is a reference card. And another reference card, so there's one for each of you. Discard draw, clear, actions, etc. There's a turn order card. Another turn order. With the victory conditions, a third one. And a fourth one. So they get a couple extras of that. Alright, here we've got powers. 
Let's separate these from the other ones here real quick. So we'll go over the powers first. Powers we have phasing, fast negate one fast action. Those sidekick, fast attack body block modifier. Ooh, plus six, that's pretty good. We have teleportation, x-ray vision, mutation, scanalyzer, phasing, another sidekick, duplication, super speed, another teleportation, another x-ray vision, another mutation, scanalyzer, another phasing, another sidekick, another duplication, another super speed, another phasing, and lastly another sidekick. So that's the powers cards. Let's get those out of the way. They all have specific backgrounds too. Like these say powers on them so you can't get them confused with the hero cards. And the reference cards have the hero card on the back too. So let's get those out of the way. Next we have uh, different locations. So we've got Thompson Industries which has uh, smuggling going on. The Daily Mercury which has a kidnapping. Uh, prison, which has some more smuggling. The SNS Bank and Trust, which has a robbery. We have a city hall. And we have a government coup. We have Gray Cemetery, which has arson. Why you'd have an arson at the cemetery is kind of pointless. The Hickory Hill Park which has a laser satellite attack lab tech which has a shrink ray another Thompson Industries which has a robot rampage the Daily Mercury which has the another robbery prison which has a jailbreak SNS Bank and Trust has Mind control device. City Hall has government coup. Gray Cemetery, which has mind control device, which is pointless in a cemetery. Here's a police station, which has a jailbreak. Palmer Polytech, Nick, Technic, Polytechnic, whatever, which has a shrink ray. The Lieberman Museum has a kidnapping. Kirby Field, which has a laser satellite attack. Hickory Hill Park has a petty theft. Ooh, he's stealing candy from a child. That's just rude. Lab Tech has a atom bomb. The police station has petty theft. Palmer Polytechnic has an atom bomb. Lieberman House, or Lieberman Museum rather, has arson. And lastly, Kirby Field has Robot Rampage. So that's all the cards. Um, that pretty well covers everything. There's a lot of little pieces here uh, that could possibly be lost uh, there's a lot of cards and it's a pretty thick rule book so this one might actually take a little while this might actually be a pretty good game I uh, don't particularly care for the generic characters um, but it may not affect gameplay too much but that's what's inside hero card champion of new Olympia from table star games it uses the hero card system if you like the other hero card games, this might be a good one. The game board's a little more flexible, it looks like, than several of the others. Especially Galaxy. So be sure and check this out if, if you're into superhero games 
or card games in general, it might be worth looking into, especially because you can find it cheap. Like I said, I've been seeing these go for less than 10 bucks as of this recording in 2015. I paid $5 for this brand new. So check it out, it's from 2006. Two player game, 60 minutes, ages 10 and up. But that'll do it for this episode. As always, thanks for watching and we hope to see you on the next episode of What's Inside.